Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I thought we would check out this new free example project called Stackobot that just released the other day on the marketplace. Uh, it's a free example project that covers pretty much all of the new main features of Unreal Engine 5. So we're talking about things like world partition, enhanced input, Niagara, meta sounds, control rig, nanite, lumen, and much more. And there is also a video on the official Unreal Engine YouTube channel that explains more in depth all of the features included in this example project. And by the way, big shout out to the team who created this and released it for free for everyone to learn from. Uh, they did an amazing job on this pack and there's a lot of stuff to learn. So yeah, here is the project. Like I said, they made a full 30 minute video basically explaining pretty much everything that the project features as well as explaining uh, how everything works. So I don't really want to repeat all that information from that video. If you guys want to watch it, you can go ahead and do so. I'll leave a link in the description below. I definitely think you guys should watch it because he explains pretty well uh, all of the different things that the project includes. But I'll basically try and summarize it real quick in this video and kind of give you a tour of the project and show you some of the features myself. So yeah, here we are in the game and you basically spawn in you have a couple abilities so you can jump up and down and you have this little jetpack there are these little coins around the map uh, you can't really see them on here because I actually went and collected them all and it's all uh, set up to like a save game so it'll save all the coins that you've collected but it's like a platformer game and you have these little uh, buttons that you can press you can see you can interact with the objects in the level so for example this uh, fan little vent, you can press the pressure plate and you can see that the fan is blowing air. Then what you can do is press F and spawn in another bot. And then you can go onto the fan and collect the coin. But I already collected it. So yeah, that's basically um, a lot of the different things in here. You can see here there are some platforms that are raised up and down. And then you also have these interactable doors, except I don't know if this is the proper pressure plate for that one. Maybe not. Okay, over here is like a door. You press E to open and close it. So you can see my character is pressing the little button with its hand as well. And these little crates here, little physics objects, pretty cool. And then over here, another little puzzle here. So you jump on here. They can jump onto this little platform. I just messed it up. So yeah, all the interactables, everything in this level is made with Blueprint. If you're familiar with Blueprint, if you're not familiar, it's basically like a visual scripting system. That's really easy to dive into, in my opinion, but I do have a couple tutorials on Blueprint on my channel if you want to check those out. Another feature of this pack is the IK, full body IK. So if you see the feet on here, adjust to the position of the landscape or the terrain that, it's, that the character is standing on. So it's a feature from Control Rig, which allows you to do quite a bit of things with your character mesh. Um, a neat thing here, if I exit, is that the landscape or the map is made with World Partition, which is, I mean, you can use it. This is kind of a smaller map. But basically, I open up Window, World Partition, and I had to actually load the levels. So you select these and click load selected cells. And that loads all of the meshes and stuff in this inside the level. And it, it tells you tells you to do that right here. But yeah, you can see all the little blueprints and things right here, like the interactable, like the coins. I guess these are energy orbs. If we go to our content browser here, uh, all of the content in here is pretty well organized and commented out. Go into Stack Obot, which is the main a content folder under the blueprints we have things like the character here so we open the character blueprint all the logic things like you know when you click the jump button what happens when you click jump you know the jetpack all of that stuff is in here all nice and neatly commented out then back in our content browser here we also have things like all the game elements so these are all the interactables like the pressure plates, the moving platforms, the fans, little energy orbs. So if you want to dive into those blueprints and check out all of that logic, you can go ahead and study lots of this. 
So, I mean, there's a lot of different stuff to dive into. And even from the technical side, there's a lot of stuff from the artist side. Like, for example, there is some blending here on the landscape and the objects on the landscape, like the rocks, as well as interaction with, like, the foliage. So, if I jump over here, I can show you that. He kind of showed it in the video, but I'll just show you real quick. You can run into these objects, and they kind of interact with your character. So, he... Um, kind of showcase like the shader that you used, like the material, as well as all the blue blueprint and logic in the character that allowed him to do that. So yeah, there's just a ton of different things in here to dig apart. And if you guys want me to kind of do like a deep dive into this, maybe we'll make like our own level or something like that, or just go over some of the blueprints and kind of explain everything. Let me know down in the comments down below. Like I said, I just want to really quickly kind of showcase this project, let you guys be aware of it. To be honest, this is probably the best project right now that you can grab for free that features all of the new all of the new tools that Unreal Engine 5 uses. And I highly recommend watching at least like the 30 minute video that they had on the channel. But yeah, go ahead and check this project out on the marketplace if you guys want to. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you want me to make a more in-depth video kind of diving into various things from this project, just let me know down in the comments down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.